it wasn't the overriding factor that she was number one uh, that made us keep her for 27 years. Um, it did help, of course, but it was just being in the Folk Boat Association and coming to Folk Boat Week every year, making so many friends through it. And it never occurred to us to want a faster one or a younger one, or it was just our boat and we loved it. We bought Yoho because we wanted a project. And we'd seen a very pretty folk boat in Key Haven Boatyard called Huckleberry Finn. And just started looking around brokerages and Yoho turned up on the Isle of Wight at Wharton Creek. And we went over on the ferry and we didn't like it very much. We thought this thing is going to leak like a sieve. It was open all down the sides. And we thought, well, we'll go home and think about it. So we went home and had a bottle of wine, which is the best thing you can do when you're buying a boat. And thought, well, we'll make them an offer. They, they won't accept it. So we made them quite a low offer. And uh, to our horror, it was accepted. And we were stuck with Yoho. So we went over for several weekends uh, on the ferries. And we thought, yeah, we're beginning to like this old girl. And we want to see her sailing back home to Key Haven. And that was it. We worked, my husband worked very, very hard on it. And uh, filling up all the gaps just in order to sail her home. And eventually, after three weeks away, on, in going backwards and forwards to cows and stuff, um, we launched her and sailed her home in company with a friend in case we, we sank on the ferry. And that was it, more or less. Got her home, stripped her down, put her in the yard for the winter, and Robert sat underneath the boat all winter in a woolly hat in the freezing cold pulling out everything, every screw, everything, and built her back up from the bottom. And from then on, we joined Folk Boat Week the following year, <coughs> oh dear. and um, that was it. We were, we were hooked, truly. Folk boats are wonderful boats to sail. They're sturdy and reliable. And when you've had one for a long time and done it up and lived with it and improved it, you actually just get to love it. It becomes part of the family. Our, our family loved it. I mean, we used to take the children fishing from time to time. And uh, no, it was, just, it was just a complete way of life with the family. After 27 years, it was getting to the stage where she really needed a total overhaul. And my husband was getting really fed up every spring, doing the same old thing, trying to get it back up to spec. And I could see him getting more and more depressed with it. And over the years, I'd been the one to say, oh no, we must keep her, just do another year. And in the end, I, my heart won. I thought, I can't make him do this any longer. And so we decided, right, this is it. If we're going to carry on boating and enjoy it, we really need to get the GRP, a motor sailor or something a bit more gentlemanly with plenty of room. And um, so we made the big decision very quickly. And... Uh, have regretted it since to make to me to me. <laughs> but I do love our new boat, but it's just it, it is a wrench. It's a big wrench getting rid of it. But um, I'm hoping that she's going to be well done up now, and uh, and I can see it from time to time looking as we wanted to get her, which is why we parted with her. Part of me wants to grab her back and do it all again. <laughs> Um, I'm hating seeing her sitting here, now I'm going to cry, um, and it's not mine anymore. I looked at some photos of it the other day and I saw a photograph of it being taken 
over the front of Hearst Castle. I, I was always taking photographs of us coming into Hearst Castle in a mist. And I could see the woodwork that I used to hang on to, to do things like this. And I thought, God, I remember that piece of wood. How pathetic is that? <laughs> But I'm recovering slowly. Um, I know it was the right thing to do for the boat and for us. Uh, but I don't envy anybody in that position because it, it's, a, it's a bit of a wrench when it comes to it. Uh, but long may she live. She's 65 and I'm determined, even if it's only in the background, I'm going to make sure it carries on beyond me. <laughs>